This is the sixth tutorial of the motion graphics tutorial series and in this tutorial I will show you how to create this right on effect. So when you open up After Effects, create a new composition. I'm using 1920 by 1080, frame rate 29.97 and the duration is 6 seconds. So once you've created your composition, grab your text tool and just type in your text. Um, now you can align it using the align panel. Change the color of your text to something bright. And then select the pen tool. So make sure that the fill is on none and that the stroke is solid color and now zoom in and you can start creating some shapes so click right here and then hold down shift and click right here and that creates a line with a stroke then change the stroke to um, the approximate width of the text 30 works fine for me and now create a second line until you cover up your whole letter so once I've done that I'm going to rename my shape layer just so I can stay organized um, then I'm going to add um, trim paths I'm not going to explain it because I already made a tutorial um, now I'm going to create an end keyframe and I'm going to change the value to zero. I'm going to press shift and page down two times to move 20 frames. And then I'm going to create another keyframe and I'm going to change its value to 100. Uh, now select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them and then open up graph editor and click on the second keyframe and drag this handle until you get um, this shape uh, what this does is um, it um, changes the velocity of these keyframes so that they accelerate right here and then gradually slow down and now we have um, this animation so now uh, I'm going to show you how to um, do the same thing with a curved letter so I'm going to click right there and then I'm going to click right here and then I'm going to try to adjust this then I'm going to click right here and again I'm just going to adjust this because we can fix this later uh, now I'm going to click right here and this doesn't look good so I'm going to undo this by pressing Control Z I'm going to click right there and to finish it I'm going to click up here so now if this doesn't look good you can adjust it um, just by clicking on these points and now you can change the stroke width so that it covers up the whole letter and I'm going to rename this and then I'm going to my first letter I'm going to copy um, this trim paths effect by clicking on it and pressing ctrl C um, then make sure that your playhead is in the beginning and click on your second letter and just paste it and now we've pasted that um, animation so I'm going to finish off all of these letters and I'm going to speed it up so that you don't need to watch it and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So now I've made all of these letters and I copied the trim paths to each and every one of them and I have this animation. So what we need to do now is um, move 20 frames um, because that uh, the last keyframe is located right there and then I'm going to uh, 
click on the first letter, um, hold down shift and click on the last one, which will select all of them. And then I'm going to click, click control shift D and delete all of these remaining layers. Now I'm going to select all of them again. Make sure that you select the T uh, first and the L last. Then go to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, Sequence Layers and um, click on Overlap and if you want these to overlap by 2 frames then type in 18 because they're uh, 20 frames long but I'm going to make them overlap by 4 frames so I'm going to type in 16 make sure that the transition is off and click OK so now when all of them are selected just drag them out to the end of the comp and what you need to do now is grab this text move it all the way to the top click on toggle switches modes um, go to mode stencil alpha um, then you can turn on motion blur for all of these and let's take a look at what we made And now I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to pre-compose this. Um, I'm going to type in tutorial um, right on. And now you can add other elements without messing up your animation. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this three times. And I'm going to offset um, these by two frames and I'm going to type in tint and apply tint to the first and the second layer. I'm going to change, um, I'm going to map white on the first layer to, um, let's see, dark blue on the second layer to lighter blue and now we've made this so that's it if you want to see more tutorials then subscribe the project file download link is in the description and thank you for watching